Now turns to part 4. You'll hear an introduction about the tutorial courses of the physics school. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now, listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Welcome to Orientation Week. This is the Physics School session, and we'll welcome Professor Smith, the head of the school, to introduce you to the tutorial system. Welcome, Professor Smith. Thank you. You may have noticed life at university is totally different from that of school. For you, tutorials are an important part of the teaching program. Tutors are the primary contact between undergraduate students and the school. A tutor is the student's personal tutor as well as their academic tutor. Tutorials for physics undergraduates consist of six students who meet each week with their tutor for at least 50 minutes. For radiographer students, tutorials will normally consist of a group of about 10 students who will meet fortnightly with their tutor for a period of at least 50 minutes. In the first semester, the tutorials are during weeks 1 to 11. For semester 2, they are during weeks 14 to 24. Everybody involved is expected to be present and on time, and the tutor will also be available in week 12 and 25 to discuss problems that arise during revision but attendance by students is optional. Now I'm going to introduce to you the stages and activities of the tutorials. The induction period is from week one to three. I know that a significant minority of you experience culture shock during your first few months at university, and the important function of this stage is to identify students who are having difficulty integrating into the academic program. In particular, tutors should check your attendance of lectures, tutorials, laboratory sessions, and this sort of things. Tutors also help you tackle work in a systematic and effective manner. Stage 2 begins from the fourth week. Some tutorials of this period are to be devoted to discussion or going over the students' lecture notes, but approximately 50% of tutorial time is to be devoted to coursework. You should finish the weekly homework assignments of two hours duration with at least 50% involving written work. At least eight homework assignments during the year should involve answering problems set on coursework. The written work collected by the tutor should be marked within a week of handing in, and generally the assignments should be graded. The third stage starts from week 8 till the 10th. During this period, math and four core physics programs are included. The majority of tutorial time should be devoted to work which support the lecture programs and laboratory work. At least 60% of homework assignments should involve written work. The assignment may involve writing an account of, or notes on, a specified range of topics. The written work should also be marked and graded. Short oral presentations by students should be included. They are possibly on general physics topics or essays. The last week's personal development planning is a structured and supported process. The primary objective for PDP is to help you to become more independent and confident, self-directed learners and encourage a positive attitude to learning throughout life. It is undertaken by yourselves to reflect upon their own learning, performance and achievement and to plan for their personal educational and career development. Finally, if, without evidence of good reason, you miss more than two sessions during a semester, or if the tutor is not satisfied with your progress, the matter must be immediately referred to the program director, who will normally issue formal warning, verbal and written. This will inform you that your place at university is under threat of withdrawal if no improvement is made. That is the end of Part 4.
You now have half a minute to check your answers.